That's Judah. You from the trouble of Judah, man. You gotta say a lot of pride. You from the trouble of what? You from the trouble of what? Now we got the Judah here. That's right. The Judah gotta show them what it's done. How y'all say Judah? How y'all say Judah in Israel? Judah. How y'all say Judah, man? Bro, you from the tribe of Judah, brother. So you gotta repent and come back and keep the commandments of God. To the angels everywhere, upon many men that deserve your mercy, but I don't deserve your mercy again. No, keep it kosher. We live in how we supposed to. Every Sabbath on the block, we will be posted. One what? One Lord. One Savior, which is the Black Messiah, Hamashiach Yahweh Read. One faith. One what? One faith. One understanding in the Bible. Read. One baptism. One what? One baptism. Read. One God. One what? One God. No, right, Jesus. One God. No, your woman. One God. No, Caesar. One God. You gotta understand there's one God. The only way for us to get this unity, we gotta get back together. So let me teach you this, brother, how to come back. It's so easy. Brother, if a dog could talk, the dog could do, would be able to do this, brother. It's so easy. Let's get let's get um, uh, Deuteronomy 5 and 1. Let's get my favorite, one of my favorite Deuteronomy scriptures. The only way for us to do it is if we unify in one mind, one body, one spirit. And we, we went through this because we broke the commandments, right? So if we want to get out of this, we got to start keeping God's word. We got to keep his word. We got to keep his rules and instruction. You understand what I'm saying? Read. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 5 and verse 1. Read. And Moses called all Israel. Uh, uh who? All Israel. Let me call blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. No white people allowed in this party. Read. And said unto them. What he said unto them? Hear, O Israel. Read. The statutes and judgments. The statutes and judgments, read. Which I speak in your ears this day. Read. That you may learn them. Today you're going to learn some. Read. And keep. You're going to have to keep them. Read. And do you're them. You're going to have to practice and exercise them for the rest of your life. So let me show you a commandment you're keeping right now. Leviticus 19, 27. Let me show you one that you're keeping right now. And you probably didn't even notice. Right now, you're doing something. I want to say 70% of black and Hispanic males cannot do right now. That already got you on an edge already, brother. You're already doing this. Read. The book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 27. Read. Ye shall not round the corners of your head. So according to the Bible, you're not supposed to bald your head on purpose. If you go naturally bald, that's one thing. If you're shaving off your, your head bald, you're in sin. So right now, you got your hair. So guess what? You're keeping God's what? You're keeping his commandments. That means God, you're doing something God loves right now. Read. Neither shall thou mar the corners of thy beard. Now, you're not supposed to shave off your beard like you a dog, man. Like you a white man, bro. They taught us that. We're not supposed to do that. You could trim your beard if it gets you wrong like James Harden. You could trim it, but you got to have your beard. You have a beard, right? Guess what? You're keeping two of God's what? You're keeping two of God's commandments, man. That's easy, brother. You're already doing it. Now let me show you something you can work on. Let's get Numbers 15 verse 38. If you keep this commandment, it's going to make it easy to keep the rest. It's going to make it so easy, brother. Read. The book of Numbers chapter 15 verse 38. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. Who's the Lord speaking to? Who's the children of Israel? Huh? Who's God's kids? We just went over it. See, she just said it for you. It's the Israelites. It's us. Right? We're the children of Israel. So when you hear Israel, God is speaking to who? He's speaking to you. You gotta say he's speaking to me. He's telling me. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. Read. And bid them. And tell him, read. That they make them fringes. That they make them fringes. Fr you know fringes right here. Alright, read. In the borders of their garments. Let's see why he wants to at the end of your clothing. Read. Throughout their generations. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And a ribbon of blue. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. For what? For a fringe. For a reminder. Whenever you look at these fringes and you would feel like eating pork or shaving off your beard or murdering somebody, you're going to remember, yo, thou should I murder. I got to love my fellow Israelites. Blacks and Hispanic people, Haitians, Black Americans, Jamaicans, Puerto Ricans, Mexicans, those are my people. I got to love them more than I love white people, Chinese people, Muz uh, Arabs, indigenous Africans, and so on and so on. I got to love them more than I love them, man. Because those are my family, my people. Read. That you may look upon it uh -huh. and remember all the commandments of the Most High. Right. And do them. And you're going to be able to do them. That's an easy commandment. You're not keeping it right now, but now you learn. Because we're here to esteem you. Give me, give me, uh, Psalms 34 and 11, after that, John 14, 21. Let me show you something, brother. I'm gonna give you a little two, though. It is those two, those two, one you know you're doing, one you gotta work on, and you gotta fly. Link up with us, where you stay at, in Miami? You stay in Plantation? We got a school right right on Broward. We got our school right in Broward. Brother, we right, we, yeah, we right down the street, man. 
You see that girl say prayer? That's the city girls, right? That's the city hoes, man. The only thing they can put you in child support, brother. If we don't keep the commandment, if we don't keep the commandments, the Lord won't send a city hoe after you, man. That's the city girls, brother. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 33, verse 11, 34 and 11. 34, verse 11. Read. Come, ye children. Come, ye children, blacks and Hispanic people. Come, if you love God for real. Read. Hearken unto me. Listen to what we're saying today. And what? I will teach you the fear of the Most High. And we're teaching you how to show God you love Him for real. Do you know there's a reward for showing God you love Him? There's a reward for keeping the commandments, brother? Let's see it. Read that for me, man. John 14, 21. John 14, 21, man. We're going to bring that out, man. Because the Lord said, you know, there's only going to be a few that makes it anyway. Everybody that say they love God don't love God. That's the facts, man. A lot of people got to admit it. You love Satan, just say it. You love the devil. You love the white man, just say it. You don't know why. Everybody said, you used to believe me, I was Nat Turner. Man, I, was, I, didn't, I didn't do it the right man said to do it a bad day. She so, knows you was doing it. Because nothing's going on in the sun. If you're doing it the right man tell you to do that, you're doing it a bad day. You just got to get white man, Nat Turner, but my man is hers. Breathe. The book of John chapter 14 verse 21 Read He that hath my commandments If you have God's commandments If you keep them read And keep it them Keep it them read He it is that loveth me No I don't I know God loves me but I don't want to keep the commandments He it is that loveth me I have my own personal relationship with Jesus He it is that loveth me The only way you're going to get love And receive love Is if you keep the commandments man You got to keep the commandments of the Lord It's only one way Read and he that loveth me shall be loved of my father. You keep the commandments, that means Christ, Yahushai. He's gonna love you, man. And if he loves you, that means the Father who will love you. Who else would you want to be you to be connected with than the Messiah and the Father, God Himself? That means listen, man, when you're about to lose your house, the Lord can make an Amazon man drop a million dollars in front of your crib for you, man. And you gotta you don't gotta report it to Plantation PD. That's for you. The Lord will do that, man. When the police, when the police about to pull you over and shoot you. The Lord say, no, not him. Get, get the nigga that's smoking weed next to him. That's that's the type of protection you'll get when you're serving the Lord, brother. Lord, Read? Lord. And I will love him. And he said he gonna love you, man. Brother, you an Israelite from a tribe of what? I said it. Where you at inside? You, you're an Israelite from the tribe of what? Where you at? You said you black American, right? Where you at? That's Judah. You're from the tribe of Judah, man. You gotta say it loud and proud. You're from the tribe of what? You're from the tribe of what? Now we got the Judah here. That's right. The Judah gotta show that it's done. How y'all say Judah? How y'all say Judah in Israel? Judah. How y'all say Judah, man? Judah. Bro, you're from the tribe of Judah, brother. That's right. So you gotta repent and come back and keep the commandments of the Lord, brother. We love you, man. Reach out to us. Go plantation right there. You need a ride? We got you. We right there, right in the fire, man. You got so many brothers that you're missing out. You got so much family, brother, that want to see you do right. And I ain't trying to take your money. We don't want your money. You can come and never give us no money. But I'm still going to tell you to come through. You got to repent and keep the commandments of the Lord at the end of the day. You got family that's waiting for you, brother. You got things that's waiting for you. Come and take it. Come and take it, brother. What's your name? My name's Tavares. Brother Tavares, man. Come back and repent and keep the commandments of the Lord. Brother, you have a family, all right? Yo, somebody take the brother number. Uh, upon many, man. That deserve your mercy, but I don't deserve your mercy again. No, keep it kosher, we living how we supposed to. Every Sabbath on the block, we will be posted. Israel requires a sign, but you won't show it, no. This the generation of faith, and we just know it, yeah.